How's it going everybody? We're back with another sourcing day. We're heading off to an auction and I'm probably gonna swing by this Goodwill on the way if I have time, which I think I do. So I'm gonna swing by there and see if I can get some stuff. We're gonna head off to the auction, see if we can get some more stuff. You guys know the routine if you've been watching me for a while, but if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe because these are the kind of videos I make. I just go out and treasure hunt, basically find stuff to flip online for a profit. That's what we're doing today. I appreciate you guys for coming along. Just got to this Goodwill. It's been kind of slim pickings lately, but we'll see what we can find in here. So I actually got some really good stuff inside that Goodwill. I was surprised. It was actually like the best visit I've had to this Goodwill in quite a while. But um, I don't really have time to show you guys right now exactly what I got. But when we pull out all the auction stuff, I'll show you guys the uh, thrift store stuff before I show you that stuff. Okay guys, I'm starting to unload the truck now. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I got at the thrift store. If you don't recognize this warehouse, it's actually the warehouse next door to the one I'm usually filming at. Um, I have a little bit of overflow storage over here. I share the space with a friend of mine, but he actually has like two thirds or three quarters of this warehouse. I just have this little back corner here, but I got like one, two, three, four, I got five shelves set up just for extra overflow of inventory. A lot of times when I get new stuff, I'll put it on these shelves and then I'll take it next door as I process it and list it. So it kind of, it really helps keep things a little bit more organized around here and uh, helps the flow. But I'll show you guys the stuff we got at the thrift store. I got this Yamaha receiver for $6.98. I didn't even look it up because I've sold a bunch of these. It's definitely worth at least $50, maybe 80 on the high end. Yeah, a lot of it depends on the model number and all that stuff. So we'll have to look it up and get a better idea on price, but definitely gonna pick these up for $6.98 all day long. So I picked up quite a few shoes today there. None of the shoes I picked up are worth like a ton of money, but I like to pick up shoes that are worth like 30 to $50 when I can, uh, if they're under $10. So I got these, uh, these are the most expensive ones I got. They're Adidas, GeoFit, like hiking shoes, boots. They're in really good condition. As you can see, they've probably only been worn a couple times. I paid $15 for those. I didn't even look these up. I just know that they're really nice. So at least 40 to 60 bucks I'll be able to resell those for. And then I picked up these Sperry Top Siders. They're in really good condition, as you can see by the soles. They've like only been worn maybe a few times. And they were $7.96. These aren't worth that much. I'll probably only sell these for like $29.99 plus shipping. But still, there again, I only paid $8. I'll triple my money, essentially. I also got these New Balances for $9.96. These are worth about $35 or $40 plus shipping. And I got these Hoka shoes for $7.96, eight bucks. And I think these ones might be worth about 50 bucks. I got this Chi Smart uh, hair straightener. It was $5.98. And then as you can see, it has the plug still on there. So I don't even know if this thing was ever used. It's really not worth that much money. Uh, maybe 35 plus shipping, but I paid $5.98. There again, good flip. This was a really cool piece I got at the Goodwill actually. A Coleman Lantern. And the cool thing about it is right here on the side, it says state police property ticket. Looks like somebody scratched off a number too, which is kind of suspect, but it's a cool piece. Nonetheless, it's a model 220F and this one is newer, but uh, what you, when you see these things, you can actually look at the bottom and date them. If you look on the bottom here, wow. I didn't think this thing was this old. Uh, this one, you could see the number 73 right there. 
So this was made in 1973, and this is the cleanest one I've seen from the 70s. So I only paid $12.98 at Goodwill for this, and it's probably worth maybe 50 or 60 bucks plus shipping in this condition. Really cool piece. It's a lot better than I thought it was, actually. So I got this halo thing for your car. It plugs in and also has a cigarette lighter plug. You can jump start your car with this, or there's actually an attachable hose that's missing for the jumper cables. And you can also air up a tire with it. So that's pretty cool to have in your car. Um, I think this thing's worth about 60 or 70 bucks, if I remember correctly, from sold comps. And I paid $7.98 for it. So this is the last item from the old Goodwill. Another HP printer. This thing is nice. Look at it. It still has a sticker on the top. Uh, the model is HP OfficeJet Pro 8025. And it was only $19.98 at Goodwill. I buy printers and flip printers a lot. So be on the lookout for really good printers like this. I looked up sold comps on this. I only paid 20, as you can see. And uh, I should be able to get like $150 plus shipping for this printer. So now we're gonna unload the auction hall, get it inside, show you guys all the goodies we got. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is Epic Sega Genesis lot I picked up. They were selling these by the box and you got to pick whichever box you wanted. Well, I ended up winning the bid at $20 somehow. And I just said I'll take every single box. So I got these nine boxes for $180. And like, I'm gonna take them all home, test them, so I'll be able to accurately list them. But vintage Sega, original Sega. These are these little remake ones that they're not really worth that much money. So those, I might take one home, play with my kids, and I might sell the other at a yard sale or something. And if they're worth like $30 or more on eBay, I might flip them on there. And then we got this Sega Genesis. And this thing has like weird controllers like this, which I think might actually go to this system, which I've never seen the Sega Master System. So I'll have to see if those match up. But this piece right here sells by itself for like $150 if it works. So we'll see how that goes. We got another vintage Sega, another vintage Sega with remotes, another vintage Sega, and then the box of extra controllers, accessories, joysticks. But yeah, feels like a steal at 180 bucks. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff. We got everything pulled out. It's hot as balls. We don't have air conditioning in this warehouse, so I'm gonna make this pretty quick. So I got these two vintage clocks, and I forget what they call these little clocks. They're real small, as you can see, but they're worth a bunch of money. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I only paid $30 for all this stuff. and actually came with like some old Civil War photos, which I thought was pretty cool. So I should easily be able to get 100 to 200 bucks out of this stuff and only pay 30 bucks. That's just really cool vintage stuff like I typically like to buy. And as you can see, the patent date on the back of there, the last patent date, 1891. So this thing's probably 120 years old, something like that. I bought the Nintendo Wii bundle for $25. It was a no-brainer with all these games, extras, controllers, Wii Fit board. I might donate the Wii Fit board because I hate shipping that thing. And I'll probably just sell the rest as a lot. So I paid $65 for this Coke cooler, but it's not just any Coke cooler. It has a CD player and it even has little uh, cases to hold your CDs. It still has a cardboard in there, so it's like in perfect condition. But believe it or not, these are selling for like 150 bucks plus shipping. Really cool piece and I paid 65, so I should double my money on this one. I got these three theater lenses for 30 bucks. I've sold these in the past. Even for parts, these things will sell for like 50 to $80 each, sometimes more. And I only paid $10 each for them. So I should be able to get about 150 plus out of the three. So I've never seen one of these. It's called a micro borrow graph. And to be honest with you, I still don't know what it's for, but you can see the reading from the last time it was used. And believe it or not, these are selling for like 350 to $450. But I got in a bidding war with the guy and I paid 150 bucks for it, but I'm pretty much guaranteed to get $300 or more out of this piece. I took a chance on this Indian art at $25. It's like kind of cool. It's like fabric tapestry kind of, artwork but it says on the paperwork here that it's from the kiowa tribe and then on the back there's like provenance and it says it's the year 1900 so um for 25 dollars for both these could be worth a lot of money we'll see i paid 200 dollars for these two electronics now if this bottom piece works it's worth 450 dollars plus shipping if it doesn't work it's worth 200 dollars. so i'll at least get my money back whether that works or not Plus, they threw in this piece with it, which I didn't see at preview, so I don't even know what it's worth. 
but it's the Technics. See the model number there? I'm not sure what it is, just another stackable unit, but hopefully that has some good value. If that's worth like $100 or more, it would have been a really good buy. I got this Budweiser boat racing sign for $17.50. Sold comps on this were like uh, $75 to $120. This one shows a lot of wear, so it's probably gonna be $70 plus shipping. Must be a hard to find metal sign though. Always look these up if they have unique artwork on them. A lot of times they're only worth 20 bucks, but the good ones are worth $100 or more. Uh, this item came with that borrow graph. It's just a Simpson multimeter thing, or mar micro borrow graph, or whatever the thing was called. But this thing's only worth about 40 or $50. It's really clean though, great condition. Got this DeWalt drill with two batteries and the charger for $20, and it should sell for about $70 plus shipping. This was kind of an impulse buy. I bought these vintage golf clubs, but it was only $5. Nobody was bidding. So I went ahead and scooped them up. They're in really rough condition, but somebody might want them for wall hangers. So I should be able to get like 40 or 50 bucks for the whole set here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this earlier. This was another Goodwill pickup. I think I paid $19.99 for it. It's a dehumidifier in perfect condition. And I think it's worth about 125 to 150 plus shipping. Okay, I got this item for $10. I'm not even sure what this thing is either. Um, what's it say? Vibrograph B200A. I paid 10 and these are selling for like 80 to $100 plus shipping. I got the Yamaha 85 uh, integrated mixer. I paid $20 for this and they're selling for like 70 to 80 plus shipping. Nice piece. And then I saved the best for last, guys. We got this. Matthew Norman ship's clock in the case. It does have a label on here. It was gifted to somebody that worked for the company Mobile, the gas company, but sold comps on these are like $250 to $500. Paid $35 for this clock. I couldn't believe it. I was ready to get in a bidding war. I would have paid up to $200 probably, but I got it for $35. So I should get 10 times my money out of it. But yeah, it was a good day all around. We got some really good stuff. Yeah, so that was a great auction haul for a summer trip. Um, it was hot as balls over there, so sorry I ran through that stuff so fast and I seemed like a little flustered and out of breath, but I was really like sweating my ass off and I just wanted to like, you know, show you guys everything we got. Uh, next time I'll continue to do it next door where I have some AC and it's a little bit more comfortable and I could spend a little bit more time and uh, give you guys a little bit more information on each piece. But you guys get the gist of it. That was everything I got. Uh, total spent was $908 or so. So it was just a little over 900. And I think the estimated resale value on that stuff is about $2,740 gross based off what I added up here. So after fees and everything, we should easily clear like, you know, $2,200 and we're probably paying $900 and it's only a couple hours of work. So it's definitely a good haul and I can't wait to get back to that auction and do it again and continue sourcing and finding all kinds of cool stuff and bringing you guys along. But thanks again for watching and as always, till next time, peace.